In these next few examples, we're going to be discussing equations of value. Example one, a debt of $45,000 with interest at 12% compounded monthly is to be repaid with payments of $20,000 and $15,000 after three months and nine months respectively. A final payment is going to be made after 15 months. Determine the amount of the final payment. Let's begin by clearly labeling our time diagram. We have on our timeline a debt of $45,000 with interest at 12% compounded monthly. So the, the debt of $45,000 we can assume is, is due today. And so we will make payments of $20,000 and $15,000 after three months and nine months respectively. So that means that after three months, we're going to be making a payment of $20,000 and another payment of $15,000 at nine months. So nine months later, we're gonna make another payment of $15,000. And extending our time diagram down to 15 months, we're gonna be making our final payment at 15 months of X dollars. So the X dollars clearly is going to be, let's see now, we've got 20 and 15, that adds up to $35,000. There's a $10,000 difference between 45,000 and what we've paid off. So definitely the X dollar payment will be larger than $10,000. Why do I know that? Because I know that it's going to be paid after the due date. So what we need to do now is to select a focal date and the focal date that I'm going to choose is 15 months because that is the date upon which the final payment is going to be made. So 15 months is going to be my focal date and I'll mark that focal date is at 15 months. What are some of the other factors that I need in order to solve this problem? The interest rate is an important factor. So let's make a note. We've got 12% compounded monthly. And so that translates to an interest rate of 0.12 divided by 12 months in a year, an interest rate of 1% per month. We've got a note of that. We also note that the focal date is at 15 months. And so what we need to do is to come up with some equation that's going to help us solve for the unknown value. And that equation is going to be an equation of values. We're going to find the value of the loan on the focal date. And so the value of the loan is certainly going to be inflated by that time period. The value of the loan, and we're going to make it equal to the equivalent value of the payments on that same focal date. So taking a look at the first payment, we're going to find the equivalent value of the first payment on the focal date. And we're going to add that to the equivalent value of the second payment on that focal date. And we're going to add that again to the value of the X dollar, the final payment at that focal date. And so the equation of values is going to be very easy to generate. Before we come up with the equation of values, we need to take another look at the time diagram. And we can see that for all of the amounts in our equation of values, we're going to be inflating the amounts because all of them will be moved to a focal date that is sometime in the future. The $45,000 will be moved over a period of a total of n is equal to 15 months because it's going to be, we're going to discover the equivalent value 15 months after the debt was uh, taken on and the $20,000 will be moved over a time period of 12 months. So we've got N is equal to 12 months on the 15, uh, tw the $20,000 payment. And we have from nine months to 15 months, we've got a total of uh, six months uh, for the $15,000. And so the equation of values is going to state the following. We've got $45,000 inflated at one plus one percent per month for a total of 15 months that debt is going to equal the sum of the three payments and starting with the first payment we've got twenty thousand dollars inflated at one plus one percent per month for 12 months plus the fifteen thousand dollars inflated at one plus one percent for six months plus the last payment of X dollars, which is on the same date as the focal date. And so we can work each of these amounts out individually. And while I'm writing the full amounts on the screen for you, you should note that 
you should use your memories in your calculators to store the intermediate amounts. And solving for x, we end up with a value of the debt, and we're going to subtract the value, the equivalent value of the debt. We're going to subtract from that the equivalent value of, of the two payments. And so that's why we, we subtract the payments from the original loan. So the balance that is outstanding at 15 months is going to be a total of, let's work this out on our calculators, the balance outstanding works out to be 13784 $13,784.30. Now with the final answer, we can round that off to um, the nearest penny. And so at the 15-month uh, time period, that is the size of the final payment that is going to be made on this loan.